Okay. Hi, everybody. I'm Marcia Blackburn. I'm an adjunct instructor at SUNY Broom in Binghamton, New York. And um, my training is in art history and media studies. And I'm currently teaching um, two courses. One is called Image Theory, which is basically an introduction to visual culture. We look at art and um, uh, painting, we look at photography, we look at film, advertising, a um, bit of everything, and talk about the significance of images and, and um, the power of the image for us to, to really engage us. Um, and then the other course I teach is Media and Society, which is um, a course in the philosophy, history, and, or history, philosophy, and social sciences department. And that's a course, it's a theory course, just like the image theory class, in that we look at um, uh, all sorts of uh, sources of media, and we look at a variety of different larger topics within the media, such as minorities in the media. We'll look at African Americans in the media, we look at Islam and, and um, uh, Muslims and Arabs in the media, we look at Native Americans in the media, and all sorts of media. We also follow the campaign currently, since we're in the middle of um, an interesting contest in our country. And uh, so the students do a variety of different projects, both group projects and individual projects, where they look really in depth into how the media covers different stories. And something I'm very interested in doing in the COIL program, um, and I think you know, these are things that could work in both image theory and media and society, is taking a case study and looking at how that particular story is covered in the U.S. and in another country. Um, for instance, I do do quite a bit on um, Muslims in the media and the migration and immigration issues that have come up uh, across the world. And I'd love to look at uh, or work with someone possibly in the Middle East or, um, or you know, in Turkey or in Europe and have our students look at the issues that have come up around the migrations that are happening um, from the Middle East outward um, and look at how they're covered in their countries as well as here um, and maybe some primary experiences that people have had. Um, other things that we could do is um, I've done a section in my classes on uh, street art and political art and how that's been used in um, the Arab Spring movement and how and we also look at um, Americans like Banksy and Shepard Ferry. So that's that's another thing that we could look at, you know, in terms of the power of images to move us um, emotionally and politically. Um, so there are a variety of, of uh, possibilities for collaborations. I'm open to all sorts of suggestions, um, uh, you know, from people from all different countries. So, uh, but basically, you know, if we could even do um, uh, art history project, or I'm trained as an architectural historian, you know, that's something we could bring into possibly the image theory class. Um, uh, I also uh, work with a program called Health for Haiti at SUNY Broom, where um, last summer I did a, a art camp for about 150 kids in a very remote village, and this summer I did a three-day music camp for what became what went from 250 to about 500 kids in the space of three days, and I, we could do collaborations like this in that we look at educational systems, you know, across borders. Um, we can look at, uh, you know, um, well, basically how to, how to reach out across cultures. Um, and since I do that with art, it'd be wonderful to do that, you know, with, uh, with a COIL collaboration. So that's me, I think. <laughs> At this point, um, I'm really excited about the possibilities, uh, you know, of the people that I've met on this this coil round, and those who I hope I can meet through this profile. So thank you very much. I look forward to working with you.